Emmy Noether, Milestone Mathematician Emmy Noether was born on March 23, 1882 in Erlingen, Bavaria, which is now part of Germany. Her father, Max Noether, was a professor and physicist, and the same goes for her younger brother, Fitz Noether. You could say that smarts run in the family. When she was young, Emmy Noether was taught English, French, and piano, all classic things for girls to learn at the time. Before pursuing a career in mathematics and physics, she taught French and English classes at a local college. She attended Erlingen University, and in 1907 she earned her doctorate in mathematics. Due to the great experiences she had at Erlingen University as a student, Emmy Noether decided to teach at the university, but without pay, seeing as she was female. While teaching at the university, she decided to look deeper into the field of algebraic invariant theory, Gallows theory, physics, and she also worked on Einstein's relativity theory with a team of other mathematicians. In 1915, Noether also proved her theorem at the university. The theorem was called Noether's Theorem, and it greatly enhanced the field of quantum physics. This theorem basically created the idea of space-time parallels. In 1916, mathematician David Hilbert invited her to teach at Göttingen University, where she worked on the theory of mathematical rings. In 1921, she published a paper called Theory of Ideals in Ring Domains, which is now the basis around the entire field of ring theory. Due to World War I, Noether was finally allowed to be paid in 1922, but she was still only being paid one-fifth of what her male colleagues were being paid. In 1928 and 1929, she also guest lectured in Moscow University and at Frankfurt University in 1930. This was along with her teaching career at Göttingen University. Emmy Noether's teaching career at Göttingen was cut short when in 1933, Germany fired all Jewish and female professors, and seeing as she was both, she decided to relocate to the United States of America. When she arrived in this new country, she quickly gained her first fully paid position at Bryn Mawr College in Pennsylvania, where she taught for two years. In these two years, she worked on non-commutative algebras, representation theory, and hyper-complex numbers and linear transformations, which allowed her to win the Ackerman Tubner Memorial Prize in 1932. Sadly, on April 14, 1935, Emmy Noether had a surgery to remove a uterine cyst, and she died only days later of a post-operative infection. This cut her life short at only 53 years of age. After her death, many famous mathematicians of the time eulogized her, and Albert Einstein said, However inconspicuously, the life of these individuals runs its course. Nonetheless, the fruits of their endeavors are the most valuable contributions which one generation can make to its successors. Her ashes were buried by the Bryn Mawr College, where she had most recently been spreading her knowledge to new generations. Erlingen University also honored her after World War II by building a co-ed gymnasium in her name. Emmy Noether, a milestone in not only math, but also for her gender and religion. Emmy Noether, milestone mathematician, Jew, and female, 1882 to 1935.